What's going on Retro Gamers? Today I'm going to share with you how to set up your R4 card, just like the title says, in 2022. Let's go do it. Alright, so what I got here is what it's called an R4 card. Uh, basically, these have been around for a while. They're basically a card just like your other flash cards uh, where you can play Nintendo DS games and also run other emulators to play things like Super Nintendo on your Nintendo DS, your 3DS, your DSi. Unfortunately, I don't remember, uh, I don't think it plays 3DS games exactly. I think it only plays the DS games, which is still pretty cool because there are a lot of awesome DS games out there. So today I'm going to jump into how to set this thing up because there's a lot of guides out there that I did a lot of uh, research to actually figure out how to set this up again because I haven't set one of these up in a long time and they don't mention a lot of hey this thing doesn't work with certain uh, micro SD cards for example so I had a micro SD card right here uh, it's a 16 gigabyte but it doesn't work with this one for some reason. I think it might be because of the I1. I don't, I didn't really understand the different numbers. So I would recommend if you end up buying one of these from wherever you buy it from, I got mine from AliExpress again, because I really like AliExpress. I don't care about waiting. Uh, it was, I think it was only $20, I think something like that. It was pretty cheap. I got two of them and because I have two Game Boy DSs or Nintendo DSs. So, um, yeah, so basically I would recommend getting in a micro SD card from the supplier that sells it to you just so that you don't have to go through the hassle of trying all your SD cards if you don't have any laying around. So I had other ones that were laying around. I had an 8 gig and then I had a 4 gig and found out that both of those ones worked and they had different numbers on them. They had um, the 4 gig, I think, had a number... Uh, 10 on it and then the other one had a number um let me double check i think i still have it here so yeah the four gig had a number four and then the eight gig had a number 10 i don't know what those numbers mean again exactly but you can google it but today we're going to use my eight gig card and we're going to set this thing up so right off the bat you open this up and it looks like just a regular nintendo ds cartridge and that's what it is. It's just basically that. And then you put your micro SD card in there. And there's different versions. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the versions, but the dual core one is the one that I recommend for myself. You don't really need the, the gold version unless you're going to try to play online a lot. But that's all I know about the, the gold versions. There are different prices, of course. And then you have your thumb drive. This is basically just put your micro SD card in and plug it into your computer. So we're going to use this today. I have a actual card reader that I shove into my computer usually, but I'm going to use this just to show you guys that it works. And we'll jump into grabbing our SD card and we'll jump right onto the computer. All right, so we're on the computer. Uh, we're going to open up a web page first and just let it sit there. And once you've picked your SD card of choice. I know this is probably going to be really small and hard to see because of the focus, wanting to focus on the computer in the background. There we go. So I have an 8 gig. Uh, it has that little 10 in the circle. I think that has something to do with um, like the type of SD card it is. I know there's different types of SD cards out there. Uh, that's why when you play a Nintendo Switch, for example, you can't use specific uh, SD cards for loading your games so we're going to use this uh, happy box uh, micro sd card adapter and it'll only go in a certain way so if it doesn't go in don't try to force it in there but as long as it feels like it's in there properly like if i go like this upside down it won't pop in so let's pop that in and then we're going to plug this into our computer sometimes it'll install a driver if it hasn't been plugged in before and you can hear it ding open like just like so. So then what you're going to do on the computer is you'll see a USB drive pop up. So basically you're going to right click on that USB drive. And if you don't see this pop up right away, you can click on your file explorer as shown on the bottom. 
and then open it up basically here i'll show you so click this and then you'll see uh, all your lists of drives so left click and then format it make sure you format it to fat32 not ntfss or xfat and then whatever the capacity is and then the allocation size just you can do defaults it'll typically default it anyways and just do a quick format that's perfectly fine click ok and that is done so now navigate to the download link in the description for the files that we're going to download but firstly you can download those uh, as a zip file and then you're going to navigate to a website i have my browser open already and the website is in the description as well i'm going to copy and paste this one and this is what i put in the description of this video so click on that and then you're going to go to whatever your type of um, SD card, or not SD card, the R4 card that you're using. So the one that we're using is the dual core. So we're going to click on this and we're going to click on the download. And then we're going to click on whatever language you want it to download in. So I'm English. So wait for that to download. It's only about 30 megabytes, it says. And that's all done. So show in the folder. once it's completed and then we can open it up so we're going to grab all of these files so i double clicked so let's go back so this is the file and i'm using a uh, 7 zip for this so then open up this file and then grab all of these and then copy them so you can control c and then we're going to go into our file explorer go into our USB drive, which is our micro SD card. We're gonna copy all those files over to the USB drive. So you can just drag them and drop them over there. That'd probably be the simplest way to do it. Just wait for those to copy over. Okay. And like I said, there's some micro SD cards that don't actually work. So recommendation is to get the micro SD card that comes with the R4 card. And that way you'll know that it should work. So now navigate to the other files that you need, which are the raw files. And I have put the link in the description for the downloads for those as well. And I'm just going to go to my PC. I have all these files in a specific location and all these files are basically the emulators that you need and then they're just the sections of the game systems that i wanted to use so you can just name these whatever you want uh, all the emulators are in here for everything that you want to emulate so your nds games would go in here game boy games in here so on and so forth so we can copy these files onto the root of your SD card as well. And then, since I have a few games, I'm going to copy some games. So I have a few games on my system, or on my computer already. So I'm gonna copy over Pokemon. Actually, let's just copy the one because they're pretty big. I'm going to go back over here. I'll put the NDS game there. And where you find the games is all up to your discretion. Uh, you could back up your old games and put them all on here on your computer if you have a, a device to do so. And then Game Boy Color. I have a folder somewhere here all unzipped. So I'm going to put all my Game Boy Color games. And they're all going to be in the GBC folder. I'm just doing this just to show you how well this works. Alright. So now that that's done, we're going to go back to our fancy dancy. Uh, if I can unplug it because it's been charging. My Hello Kitty Nintendo DS. 
So the reason why it has Hello Kitty on is because I bought two of these at a marketplace sale for 50 bucks and one had a whole bunch of Hello Kitties on it. So this is what we're going to be using today. So I'll be right back as we jump off the computer. So now that we did all that, we can unplug our USB from our computer. You might be able to hear it in the background there. Grab our micro SD card out of our adapter and then plug it into the back of your, our four card, just like so. And it actually has a little picture to show you how to put it in. All right, now we're going to plug it into our DS or DSi or 3DS, whatever you decide to put it into. And we're going to turn it on. And I have a setting loaded so that it will load the, the card from uh, startup. And there it goes, started loading up right away. And that means that it worked and that your SD card will work for this R4 card. So let's check it out. So sometimes it takes a few seconds to load, but it does load pretty quick. And you can see all the emulators here. So you got your Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Not sure what that is. Your Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Atari. So pretty sweet. And then there's your Nintendo DS games. So the Nintendo DS games actually just sit at the root of this menu. So if you have a whole bunch of Nintendo DS games, they'll be just sitting here. But let's load up our... Pokemon Heart Gold because I love Pokemon so much and let's see what happens and there we go it started loading and now the game is loaded and ready to play so that's an NDS game which is pretty sweet so loads up pretty quick plays pretty well and if you ever have any errors or anything like that, and when you do this, uh, basically that means that the NDS file that you tried to download is either corrupt or not working properly. So that could be the case as well, uh, but I'm not going to get into all that. I just want to help you guys set this up. It was pretty simple to set up. So I hope this helps you guys get it going. Uh, so if you want to test out some other games, you can test out all the emulators that are associated with this and basically get your ROMs or game files from wherever you can get them from. Uh, I know you can use certain devices to back up your games from a cartridge onto your computer. And yeah, so there we go.